It's often said that there's a strong link between mathematics and music, and that mathematicians often make good musicians and vice versa. So today I'd like to explain why that is. Using this piece of music, the jazz classic Take Five by Paul Desmond, made popular by the Dave Brubeck Quartet. Just looking at the sheet music, already we can see a lot of maths. There's the time signature, 5-4, hmm, unusual. More about that in a moment. There's the speed. This piece is to be played at 176 beats per minute. So We've also got the key signature, which is six flats. That would normally mean you have to play this in the key of G flat major, but for this piece, it's gonna mean E flat minor. Now let's have a look at the music itself. At first glance, it looks like just a load of black blobs on a piece of paper. And how about the keys? There's 88 different keys. How do I know which one's which? But then you start to notice the patterns of the keys. Like there's three black notes, and then two, and then three, and then two. And as you get to know the music, you start to see patterns in these notes and in their position on the page, and the black blobs start to take on meaning. But this is exactly the sort of patterning that mathematicians like. For instance, when you see the times tables for the very first time, they all look like just a load of random numbers until you start noticing the patterns, then they become really easy. The reason I've chosen Take 5 to illustrate some of these points is because unlike most pieces of music which have two, three or four beats in the bar, this famously has five beats in the bar, like this. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So I'm going to play the full piece now, and you'll find plenty of people on YouTube who can play it much better than I can. But when you listen to the piece, see if you can keep count with the five beats to the bar all the way through the piece of music. Here goes. One, two, 